Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel. And if you have a Texan PL 368 or a County Con GP7 SSB uh, with the latest firmware, you can calibrate the frequency if you're listening to a signal. So, what's the best way to calibrate uh, a uh, a radio like this? Um, the best would be to use one of the trusted frequencies known, which is time signal stations like WWV, for example. So what you do is you punch in a frequency of a time signal station like WWV if possible, and you try to match either the voice or the tone in single sideband. So here, for example, I'm at the time when there's not any tones, but uh, if there would be, you just you know press the uh, USB button, for example, and you will fine tune the receiver by pressing the step button. You'll fine tune the receiver to something that is giving true voice or at least the same tone in AM mode and in single sideband. And once you find it. You simply press the USB button and hold it until you see two clicks of the light and it says here at the top it showed me by how much I just actually recalibrated. So I'm going to wait for the voice actually of WWV, see if I can calibrate it with the voice. It's a little difficult to... Ah, uh, here we go. Here's the tone. So this is what it sounds like on AM. So I'm gonna go on AM. So it should sound like this also in sideband. So I'm gonna go in sideband. Oop. Step. Let me just uh, Go back to uh, AM mode. I don't know if another frequency would be better. I'm going to try 20 just out of curiosity. Nope, 20 doesn't come in. Okay. Go back. I'm going to wait for the tone again. And you got to try to match the tone. It's not the best reception, but. Uh, so you hear the tone. Mm -hmm. Sounds roughly like this. So now when you have the tone set, press USB, hold it until the light flashes twice. And here you've got calibration for single sideband. You now know that if you tune some other signal, like let's try a one zero zero five one. I think there should be some weather. Whoops. One Zero zero five one. There we go. And you see the voice sounds pretty natural, right on frequency. Now oh, I've got some interference that just started. Somebody started. I don't know what, but anyways. So here, Gander Radio, natural voice. So you see that the calibration worked, and that it sounds pretty natural. To use the radio so this is um, the calibration possibility of this radio so uh, calibration is possible in the newer versions one of the things I noticed I would say that that would be the negative point and it's not just a county cop but the uh, PL 368 version also manipulation and squeezing of the plastic box does kind of change slightly the calibration of the radio there's some interaction going on with the circuitry uh, so uh, that is something to keep in mind uh, when you're using the radio and it's normal to have recalibration from time to time if you um, you know um, pretty much um, every time i use it i actually the first thing i'll do is calibrate it immediately so i know that it'll be okay for my listening session 
Um, it, remember, calibration is important in single sideband. You know, even when the radio would be off by 10, 20 hertz in uh, AM mode, it doesn't really matter that much. It's really in single sideband and you want to have that frequency display precision. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.